Creating a Planet That Works for Everyone. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 192. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 192, November 27, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the Consciousness Lesson Plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of consciousness is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the cognition lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the individuality lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team cleaned up the recipes on the breakfast page and created a dessert and snack recipes page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team and Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 15 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was the behind the scenes content editing for the site selection and preparations page. You can see some of this work here. We also finished updates to these two final Straw Bale Village Pod 2 renders and added them to the site. The first one is the central area with the chimney closed, and the second one is the outdoor picnic area looking east. Next, we updated the Straw Bale Village floor plans and clicked to enlarge floor plans as shown here. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his fifth week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus, as shown here, was beginning clarifying task assignments and beginning the foundation work with his team. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 19th week helping with the Compressed Earth Block Village Pod 4 design details. This week's focus was on railing, lighting, and furniture updates to the internal and external Revit 3D room and exterior design specifics shown here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with 3D earth block construction for the Compressed Earth Block Village Pod 4 Labyrinth Meditation Walking Path. This week's focus was trying a new approach that allowed him to finish the layout for this, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the Compressed Earth Block Village external elements. 
What you see here is her eighth week of work, focusing on more updates to the code compliant fire road and a new drop off zone design in central play and relaxation area. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his seventh week of this work, focusing on large bathroom and shower designs, updating and finishing the roof, window and external seating plans, and more doorway and storage updates. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. What you see here is week 15 of this work that continued with updates to more pages that will feature Jiming's new floor plans and designs once they are complete. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included the structural column updates for the kitchen and the dining dome as seen here, and checking in 3D the placement of columns, doors, and windows to accommodate the fourth floor. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. This week's focus was beginning work on the assembly instructions. What you see here are the initial layouts, beginnings of the parts list, explanation of the lighting color options, and more. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shu Nani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's work continued focusing on environmental load calculations for the columns and modeling the structure as seen here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued with her 20th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was solidifying the specific wattage of LED bulbs we will use and researching the different looks for the various LED options as shown here. Jin Shi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 12th week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was more calculations and comparisons and beginning to create the charts and infographics you see here. The core team also began updating the Eco Laundry page with Jinchi's work, finishing the what, why, and initial three details section, discussing the range of what is possible from the most basic approaches to the most comprehensive. Visit the page to read the details. Rami Avudi, electrical engineer, Shubram Agrawal, electrical engineer, and Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, continued working on the electrical design for the control and automation systems and Ramya and Shubham continued working on the solar and wind designs. What you see here is this team's fifth week of work on both of these tasks and focusing on controller sizing, battery selection, and wind turbine types. Lucas Tsui da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also finished the control system's current requirements for room controller chart you can see here. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his second week working on creating our next generation of Duplical City Center section drawings. You can see some of the notes and examples of the ongoing revisions here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team updated the Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page with more of the comprehensive research and educational content written last year by Bin Ru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting. The work in progress you see here is in preparation for a new web designer who we just brought on the team and will be taking on finishing this page as her first project with the team. Ashwin Patil, web developer, and Jennifer Zhao, web designer, also completed what is, collectively, the eighth week of work developing the new site search engine. This week's focus was inputting the details for the highest good energy section, fixing a broken icon set problem, and writing the code for the highest good society and highest good education sections, as shown here. And Yuri Vite, music composer and sound designer, completed his third week of helping create the music that will accompany the new overview video we are planning. 
This week's focus was several new composition tests for a more progressive and action-oriented intro. You can hear one of these in the background here and listen to the rest on your SoundCloud. What One Community is designing all this for is because we believe in creating a planet that works for everyone. We believe that it's possible and we believe that humanity has come to the time in our amazing journey where it's time for us to take action and do that. And so our path to creating a planet that works for everyone is open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for what we call highest good living. Highest good living is sustainable. It is good for the planet. It's good for people. It's good for the economy. And it is designed with the idea to do the best that we possibly can for everyone and everything that it is that we do. It doesn't mean that we've figured out what the highest good for all is, it just means that we're creating with the consciousness and the idea that we want to do the best that we can. That's adaptable, it's non-ideological, and it's created to be truly sustainable, to last for our generation and generations to come, to do no harm, to be best practices, approaches to all the foundations for a sustainable civilization. And we've identified these foundations as food, energy, housing, highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability that we think will provide a way of living that is better than the way that people are living right now, that most people will consider to be superior to the way that they're living right now. And our idea is that if we can make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough, we will be creating a planet that works for everyone by demonstrating and providing an open source and free shared, replicable, and self-replicating model because it's easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. And so our foundation is to provide everything necessary for that. We know that if we can accomplish that, and by creating with the consciousness for the highest good of all, that even if we don't accomplish that, we're moving in the right direction. But we believe that if we can accomplish that, easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, designed specifically to replicate itself, to be replicable, to be duplicable, but also to be adaptable, modifiable, to meet the needs of different values, different ideas, different people around the world, but replicable around the world. If we can create that, we will have created a teacher demonstration hub capable of creating additional teacher demonstration hubs. We call this a solution model, purpose to create additional solution creating models, designed to be adaptable, modifiable, malleable, for the challenges that we haven't even identified yet for people everywhere and easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own, then we can actually create a sustainable planet within our lifetime. We can simultaneously address all of the challenges of this generation and generations to come because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so we are addressing them all, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic models, all these things put together to address everything simultaneously and also designed and open source and free shared so that people that don't want anything to do with the big picture of our model, for people who just want a piece of it, or people that are only interested in this one aspect or want to take this piece in one direction or another direction can do that. Replicable as individual components or as the complete demonstration hub that will be one community, a place that people can visit, experience what it is that we're creating, they like what they see to take it, replicate it, to modify it, adapt it in their own way, create something even better, hopefully help us open source and free share, share that too, so that we can build a global collaboration of people working to create a planet that works for everyone too. So if this sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, get involved, join our team. We've got lots of different ways to do that. Of course, you can also help us out just by sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make that as easy as possible. We're on Pinterest, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Facebook, about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information, to access our information. Because we know that the goal is to reach the tipping point of participation so that we positively and permanently impact the lives of every person and creature on this planet. And the way to do that is by giving it away, free sharing it, by making it attractive, and by having help. The only way we can reach the tipping point of participation is people know what we're doing. 
Of course, people always ask, like, what's the biggest thing? What's the biggest hurdle that one community is facing right now? We're still seeking large scale funding. It's not even our primary focus right now because our primary focus is creating a plan that works for everybody through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints. And we have tens of thousands of hours invested in that process. And that's our primary focus. That said, we're still seeking large scale funding to take our project to the next level to get the property off the market that we've been focusing on for the last six years that we've been designing around so we can disclose that location, so we can start doing the open so and open sourcing the processes that require that property to be under our nonprofit ownership so we can take our whole project to the next level. So if you or somebody you know has the resources or uh, access to the resources to help us out, we are an all volunteer unpaid organization. I'm not paid for anything that I'm doing and neither are any of our volunteers. So every donation that we get goes to forwarding our open source uh, mission and our philosophy and our goals of creating a plant that works for everybody. And so if somebody would like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community, we would like to talk to you and know that even the small donations, the $5, the $10, the $15, the occasional $50, $100 donation that we get, all those things go to our operation expenses. None of us are making any money from what it is that we're doing. We're all doing this because we want to live this way, because we want to see a world that is created, that is sustainable, a sustainable civilization, and because we believe that we are the ones that we've been waiting for and that it's possible to do this, to create a world that truly works for everybody, to create a planet that works for everyone. So this is what One Community is up to. This is how we're creating world change. You're invited to join us. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and everything related to what we've talked about in this video, visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And uh, if you'd like to just say hi, send us an email, give us a thumbs up, say hello on social media, uh, like this video, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for supporting us in whatever way works best for you. We will, of course, until next time, keep on keeping on. Thanks.